For those of you who are taking Grammar and Context 2, today, Friday, May 29th, 2020, we're going to be concluding this week's discussion on the concepts of love and wisdom. We started the week talking about love and working in a Word document, working with sentence stems and three different sentence connectors or connectors and more generally, I should say. So, but, and because. So you developed some ideas working in teams, working with the idea of love and concluding the sentence using these three different connectors. Then later in the week, we extended this activity thinking in terms of wisdom, what is wisdom, looking and thinking about different perspectives. And you were to separate or divide up into teams, seven different teams to really explore this question of uh, what is wisdom, but more specifically, how it relates to perspective. So today, what we want to do is combine these two ideas, love and wisdom. We're going to continue working in this document, exploring the question, which perspective should you have? And working in the same teams as you did yesterday, developing these seven different points, I'd like for you to combine the ideas that you have here in this document, talking about wisdom, and combine it with the idea of love, looking at basically any of the sentences that your classmates developed as it relates to the concept of love. So again, it could be a doc, it could be a sentence that you developed yourself, or if you like uh, any other sentences that you want to work on and combine. But the idea here is to merge these ideas of love and wisdom, taking a look again at any of these examples. You can discuss this with your team and take this idea, any one idea here, or even a combination of ideas that relate to love that are mentioned here in this document and bring it into your own discussion as it relates to wisdom. Again, today on Friday, we're going to continue working in your teams that you worked in yesterday. But refer to the document on love, take any of those ideas and combine it with the idea that you have, the sentence stems that you have here. We're going to continue with the three versions of the sentence stem. So you can choose one sentence stem, right? That combines the idea of love taken from, again, the other document and merge it with the idea that you have here. We're going to combine these ideas, but still continue working with one sentence stem and continue using the three different connectors. Now, as you are determining your sentence stem, take another look at the rest of the sentences, the rest of the three sentences, and determine as a team if any changes are needed. Any type of uh, rewording or reworking of the rest of the sentence, it may be necessary depending on the sentence stem that you decide on. But this should be a team effort in terms of the uh, sentence stem that you're going to use. But each person is still responsible for his or her uh, sentence, but it can work as a team, check each other's work, provide respectful feedback. If changes to, uh, are required, changes in terms of grammar, punctuation, capitalization, and so on. All right, so this will conclude this week's assignment, bringing together the idea of wisdom and love.